Why'd they get rid of the belly flop? That was great. The belly flop is pretty damn good. But everything in Odyssey is like still amazing. Like Odyssey's controls and entire like moveset is really good. Mm -hmm. Like I said, the only thing I hate about Odyssey is uh, the backwards jump, backwards flip. And how easy moons are to collect. And how easy moons are. I mean, I'm saying control wise, mm -hmm. there's a lot I hate about Odyssey as far as like the entire game. Gotcha. Well, everybody, we're gonna go fight Blooper again. Shouldn't take more than a few seconds. I think I'll uh, do this one this time. Okay. Switch off for Blooper. You actually fight them a good amount of times. They uh, they definitely padded out Blooper for like a, uh, an event. Padded out Blooper for an event? Yeah, as in like they uh, they did multiple Blooper encounters to pad out content. Why don't you just use the tunnel? Tunnel? Yeah. I think. Camera? Uh, excuse me? Okay. <laughs> this does go through. Yeah, it should. It doesn't let you go through the first time because it's, like, too easy to get to uh, him this way. Right. The first level. That's what I'm thinking of. It's blocked in the first level. Yep. There's a classic, uh, Super Mario Sunshine trick. Go backwards and then about face when you get to the legend when you do that. Flood definitely lets you cheat your way to a couple locations. I think, honestly, if you just smack the, uh, the limbs in place, you could probably be able to stretch his face out. Take that cork out of his mouth, that pacifier cork. It's kind of funny, he's got two back legs, he cannot swing them forward apparently. Only when you uh, spray him will he swing those forward. Yeah, it's interesting. Poor guy, honestly. Poor guy. We're tearing his limbs off. I know, but he made the mistake of sitting here all menacing-like. Sitting here all menacing-like. Yeah. There he is, sitting <laughs> menacingly. God. Damn it, Blooper. What are you doing? <laughs> hey, Ma! There's a really weird octopus here! That was really strange. Man, you can just do that. Yep. He's got limbs to spare. He's okay. Nope. Oh. Well, now he's I like how the difficulty of that fight more stems from the uh, the actual box being the grab box mm -hmm. being so specific. Yeah, like you'll see so often people just missing the uh, the limbs. Although honestly, I can understand somebody not knowing that they have to pull off the limbs. <laughs> We're gonna go on this trip to look for more secrets. It'll be a good time. We got friends. <laughs> Did you appreciate a, my rhythm? It was a there? nice try. No, it was off. <laughs> I know it was off, but it was a good try. <laughs> you tried. You get your gold star. It's for hard the day. to come up with lyrics on the spot. Freestyle rappers, you have my respect. You got your gold star for the day. That's fine. Everybody should always try, you know? It's good to try. <laughs> you can't I do tried, without trying. I tried, and therefore nobody can make fun of me. So says Harry Potter. <laughs> did Harry Potter say that? Uh, Daniel Radcliffe did. During yeah. a skit of some sort. Uh, okay. Yoda, Yoda would say there is no try, there is only do. I think Yoda, frankly, is full of shit. I think that's all people do is try. In fact, I think that Yoda's whole thing there is that he's saying that. God, this is gonna be like film, <laughs> film critique hour from the amateurs. That's fine. But uh, I'm actually an expert. What he's actually, what he's saying is that if you think that it is a try, then you'll be, you won't be doing your 100% right. You have to think that you're going to do it, and then you'll be more likely to do it. See, I think that ruins people's perspectives because they start to think, oh, well then I just won't ever be able to do it. That's how I think, anyway. I don't exactly think that Yoda's teaching was bad, <laughs> but... 
teaching is interesting considering that you know everybody learns in different ways yeah so. and, and somehow he's regressed to a baby in his latest iteration so i don't know what everybody learns differently everybody Yoda. teaches differently and it's a bloody freaking miracle if you can find two people that are compatible with each other as far as learning and teaching style mm -hmm. Wow, you're really timid with this one. Um, a little bit. I'm just making sure I don't screw up because I don't want to screw up again. Don't screw up again. I won't. I'll be fine. Mom. I have never gone <laughs> to the Yoshi X Pass. <laughs> just call me your mom. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> You've never gone this way? No, I, I um. I always go this way. This is the way to win. Mm -hmm. This is the only way. I don't understand uh, why anyone... Well, I, I was... No, I, let me rephrase. I have never gone the lower route, I don't think. Was there like a one-up or something over there? Um, yeah, I think it's just for like a uh, extra stuff or just as just like a red herring, you. maybe? There's like nothing down there yeah. to help you up here. It's That's not like it a two like. root kind of thing. Maybe you can like only go this kill way. Kill all those things and it's okay. Go now! <laughs> You would have killed me, my friend. I know. <laughs> Probably laugh uh, all the way. It would have been great content. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of that in this game. I think that's one of my favorite things about that is that there is a lot of near misses in Mario Sunshine. Mm -hmm. Where you know that you were so close to dying, but you didn't just because of the ledge grab. Yeah. Or because you like slid on the wall and wall jumped at like the perfect spot. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. There's a lot of like freedom of movement to screw up as well as to get to the goal. Difficulty. Honest to goodness difficulty. Or coins of the pirate ships. Do you want this one? Not particularly, but I'll do it. <laughs> I mean, I'll do it if you want, don't want to do it. Yeah, not a fan of red coin missions. And unfortunately, there's like 16 of them. Yep. There's, there, you know... Uh, and even more if you include the blue coins. There's more than enough. There's more than enough. That's fun. This game's fun. This game is pretty damn fun. The blue coins I don't mind as much, actually. Really? Yeah, well, because- I it, mind the blue coins more. Yeah, because the blue coins are just, uh, you know, find them as you see them. I mean, if you're trying to complete it, sure. But, like, just randomly finding them in the world is fun. Damn it, how did I miss? How did you miss? How did Barch miss? Was it A, the boat disappeared? B, Mario took sentient control of the controller? C, camera? Camera? <laughs> Or D, all of the above. Or E, none of the above. You can choose to not answer the question. Oh, why do you go around in a circle, my friend? Get off the boat! You're gonna drown if you stay out there. Oh, finally you're safe on this boat that can't stay upright. Ooh, no, whoops. not happening. God damn it. So, so far we're at two. Good old two. Honestly, the only ones that are hard are the ones that are in the air. Once we get to like four or five, it's gonna be easy peasy. How many more are on the boats? Uh, there's like two on the boat, I think. And then like the rest of them are in the cages. Or we could just go ahead and do this yeah, right now. Do the cages. Why not? Just do the cages. Oh, you know you can ground pound those guys. Yeah, right? I know. Okay. I'm aware. I was even thinking of doing it right when you were saying it. This is not being being a Timon. <laughs> <laughs> I was really actually thinking of doing it. Good, good. I was making sure that I needed to do it honestly, if anything else. I feel so good at this game! I don't know why these grow to- uh, <laughs> I'm just gonna keep on ranting about that for the rest of my freaking life. I can't believe how much they ruined uh, uh, Mario after this. I can't believe it. I can't believe you've done this. Ooh, Ooh. Nice, uh, nice tech right there, buddy. Thank you, friendo. <laughs> Very timid. It's not that I'm timid, I just have to get this right.
I think you can. You, you can need precise motion. You can fumble your way through that. I should have let you do this one. <laughs> then you could have been making fun of me. <laughs> Okay. What just happened there? He made me fall through. Fuck everything. All right, back here. Rip five, everybody. Five. Back in the pool at five. Five below. That's our motto. That's not our motto at all. It is not my motto, but I do like that shop. I do love a five below. What is five below? Five, uh, five uh, below is a shop where everything is five dollars or less. Oh. It is like a high-end dollar store. A high-end dollar store. Yeah. Five dollars. Yep. Five below. Wow. Yeah. I, I don't think we have those. Yeah, dude. They're pretty cool because like they actually do find like when when you upgrade the price to five dollars, you start getting a lot cooler stuff at cheap prices. It's all still shitty cheap stuff, but. It's neat because it's five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love this explanation that is extremely yeah. rambly yet somehow makes complete sense. Like I bought a VR headset for five dollars there. <laughs> One of the phone ones. I'm sure you were very pleased with that. It oh. was so cheap. It was unbelievably cheap. You can kill those guys from below. I know, but like... You won't wanna? Oh. The red coin is below anyway. <laughs> oh. I'll suffer, it's okay. <laughs> You'll suffer for the people. Uh, I could have gone. Uh, uh, I, just, uh, I just completely forgot the way to go on this one. Uh, uh, we're gonna kill everything here. Yeah, take him out. Kill that motherfucker. God, Mario has an incredible up kick. Do you know how much upper body strength that takes? Everything Mario does takes an insane amount of upper body strength. I mean, he crushes bricks with his head. This is the power of, uh, homo nintendios. And not even in, in the kung fu way. No, he is not exerting, like, you know, precise force. No, he's just crushing bricks with his head. I think the orchestral might be stuck. The orchestra might be stuck on that note. That's actually not exactly a glitch. <laughs> okay. Because there isn't supposed to be a music there, so it was supposed to no? silence, but it kept the organ note. Okay. Half glitch. We half glitched it. Oh, my neck. Oh, I'm gonna let you play a little bit because I feel bad. Okay. Mm, neck. Neck. Go neck. wherever you like, friendo. Let's go back here. 